Hello, it's Sarah, and things are much calmer today at the house. If you guys saw that, uh, I went live on YouTube yesterday just to test it and see what it's like, and I hope to do that. I have to figure out a way to mount my phone so that I can film with my phone, um, because I don't think you can, I use a camcorder right now to film, but anyway, um, I'm going to do some art journaling. I just got out my art journal. And I think what I want to do is kind of finish off some of these backgrounds that I did. Like I have this page. I'll probably just brayer that and see how that turns out. Um, and I was going to work on, <clears throat> like these are some other, I think I used gelatos. I did videos for uh, three of these, this one and these two. But I think the one I'm going to use is actually this one. This, I think, is just, I don't even know what it is. It might, I might have just been wiping off my brush. Um, but I want to do something with this page based on something I saw by Kate Crane, who is one of my favorite artists. If you guys haven't heard of her, her blog is called The Catherine Wheel. Um, she's from the UK, and she also has, I'm pretty sure, I took journal soup parts one and two with her. I've taken lots of classes with her, but I love she's so calm and just peaceful and easy to listen to and really just has fun. So I'm just going to make some houses, going to cut them up out of this. This is actually scrapbook paper. I've been trying to play with different things that I have in my stash. Um, Kate uses a lot of butterflies, so I was gonna. I was thinking about using some butterflies, but I think I'm gonna go with houses for this page. Um, so I, I, these are actually scrapbook papers. So I have. Um, you don't need actual music paper or whatever. There's a lot of different scrapbook papers out there that will, you know, like book pages. I mean, yeah, you can use an old book, but I just wanted to pull things that I have that I've never, you know, I'm not using. Um, and so this is just, I don't know if it's, it says true friends. It's about friendship, to love abundantly, live abundantly, to love forever and live forever. A friend is the one who brings out the best in me. So it's just positivity, footprints in your heart. Anywho, really tiny writing. But I'm just going to free cut some house shapes. And I'll probably just use, because I'm going to put the houses in just the sun. That's it. So I'm going to cut a couple different size ones, like a tall one, and they can be wonky, doesn't matter. Uh, maybe a little shorter one. Then I got to do roofs, and we'll do uh, like a super little skinny one, real tall. Two skinny ones. So we'll do this one. And maybe this is too tall. I'll go skinny again. We'll give that a tall roof. And just see how they fit. I think I'll cut this one down a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So, um, I've watched a couple of the... Um, Wonderlust classes as well and so uh, Vicki Pamplona just did a class I don't know how to say her last name it's a Greek last name and so I've just been inspired I also watched such a cool boho piece on there um, I can't think of the artist's name I gotta google her because it was so cool it had beading painting fabric uh, stitching oh man it was oh, it was so cool so um, yeah that's the type of stuff I love to see that just can inspire me to try new things and um, so I'm gonna make this little roof like this that should fit there I'm gonna need one right here But Kate ha is such a good artist. If you guys, I mean, I think she's teaching, she does workshops and she does lots of um, 
classes, but she's in the UK. I don't think she travel teaches. So um, you can just get her classes online. And I've done it before. I don't know if it's Vimeo or one of the online streaming things. You can get, you can just download it on there and you're good to go. So let's do one for here. And I don't even remember what colors I used for this background because I was going to try and tie in the colors. But I'm just going to use um, whatever similar colors. I have a bunch of my go-tos. So just the whole rainbow. You know how I do. And then I need a sun. So I'm just going to cut a circle. A little lopsided circle put that there and I think that's all I'm going to do on this one I'm going to glue these down with my podge and I'll be back and I will show you what I'm going to do with it okay so I decided to do a cloud too I'm just going to put this over this ugly page I'll fix that page too um I'm just going to probably I'm um, just going to float you know me. Actually, there you go. I'll just put my palette right here. So let's do a couple of different color houses. Like, um, I like this red. And because I'm floating it, it'll be, I'm going to put out a few colors so I can just move from piece to piece and not have to keep putting out my paint. Uh, pink and I don't really have any um, white out. I could use, you know what I love, my um, pearlescent white, this Martha Stewart. I will use that for the, for the cloud. I'm just going to use an angle brush and some water and I just have this mason jar here I've been liking using this mason jar and get some water and you're gonna need a paper towel and blot the water out but there's still water in the brush that's the important part I'm gonna go into this gorgeous red I just use craft paint this is called true red I just have so much paint you know you guys know those that watch my videos I like to use what I have. Let's do this guy. I'm just going to float. I'm not going to color them in completely. Try not to get it on the background. And I'll do a little bit over here on this roof. I'll do underneath that roof too. Do blue. This is called Deep Ocean Blue Deep. Ocean Deep Blue. <laughs> Let's do this roof. I might have a little too much um, water in my brush, but that's okay. I'm trying to keep it like washy looking. I should have made doors and stuff. Let me stop for a minute. I'm going to put some, um, I'm just going to use a pencil. Let me draw some doors. So this will have a door because then I can paint the doors a different color. I'll make a really tall door here. And just make a circular window. Mm, put this door on the side a little bit. I'm on Mod Podge, so it's a little sticky, but this will just, this way I just know where I'm, what I'm looking at, you know. I could just wing it, but it's easier if I 
have something to look at. Maybe you guys can't see that. Uh, but now I can make, let me do the sun. I have a, a fluorescent yellow I was thinking of using, but I just figured I'd use that. I'll put a little bit of yellow down here. Oh, and the windows is good. I think I want some orange. I have spiced pumpkin. Looks a little dark. I think I like this one. It's brighter. Oh, this is a neon orange. I think I'll use that. I wanted to make one of these houses green. And not all these colors are in the background. I don't know. I thought I was going to make it really tonal. Tonal. Yeah, that's a good word. But, um, doesn't have to be. I love color, so that's what I go with. Oh, I just made the green house with the green roof. Uh, this house. See, this might blend a little too much with that pink background, but I think it's okay. I wanted to just use that orange a little bit too. I'm going to put the orange where the yellow is. This is a uh, neon. It's just by Deco Art. Americana. I'm sorry. Americana. Is Americana Deco Art? Yeah. Americana Deco Art. So I'm going to put this on the opposite side of where all the yellow is. This house isn't really showing up. I think that's green. That green might be a little too light. It's a uh, citron green. I might need a little bit of a darker green. It's kind of looking like the yellow. I'll just go make it a little darker. So that's good. You can see my houses now. I mean, it'll they'll definitely pop more when I get the, uh, let me put some orange in the sun. They'll pop more when I outline and then we'll do a little bit of shading behind them. But let me do my cloud. I'm, I'm being really super sloppy. <clears throat> so I'm just getting the color on there. And let's see, 
put some orange. I want to put some of that orange on the sun. very translucent. It's translucent? Yeah, that's what I want to say. Transparent. So, it's, uh, I'm putting it on kind of thick. Where else should I put it? I don't know why I'm putting it down all that. Okay. And a little bit on this pink roof. Oh, I, I'm just going to darken it up on my sun. It's not really showing up. Okay, now I'm going to shade behind. I think I'm going to use, like, I always use Payne's Gray. What should I use today? should kind of match the background but I think I might just go with like a light brown maybe spice brown let's see what that looks like you know what it's gonna do though it's gonna make it look so antique -y. I think I'm gonna use the colors that are out on my palette that's what I'm gonna do so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just like if this looks pink in here I'm gonna use the pink to shade behind And because there's Mod Podge on the paper, I can um, use my finger to blend, like just push the paint. So that looks good. I'll use blue over there. Yeah, you're gonna. I'm gonna need to make them pop a little bit by adding a shadow behind the houses and the roofs. So I'll do blue here. What the heck? It's not exactly blue back there, but. There's like a peachy color I could have used. See, that's a little too dark. This is just a mop brush that I'm really not using correctly. I kind of just really pressed hard to get that to... It is what it is, you know? But now you can see that better. Uh, let me try. I cut. I could have used the red, maybe. I'm gonna go around the sun with the red. See what that looks like. Way too dark. I think it looks okay. And what should I go under the cloud with? Because that is really sheer. Um, I'm going to do the... Oh, I'm going to do orange. I don't like that that much, but after it dries, and then I can use a little bit of blue up around the top because there's blue up there and it'll really make the shape I think it looks okay I don't think I messed it up or anything because I'm still thinking I'm going to do some stamping and different stuff to, to tie it all together. Um, what else was I going to do? Maybe around the edges. I think I might just use... Hmm. Let's do some stamping. Some um, 
tie in, tying it in, I think I want to use my stencils. So where are my good stencils? Not my good stencils, my go-to stencils. Here they are. So we'll do some stenciling with... I always sort of have certain stencils that... Oh, I think I left them in here. Yeah. I keep them in the drawer now because they're just much easier to get to. Got to use my circles. I think I'm going to use... I love these stamps. Actually, I like... I might do this swirl. It's a little big. I like this a lot too. This is like a brick stamp. Maybe I'll stamp that on the houses. I think I'm going to do that. But I have my go-to stamps. Where's my circle? Here it is. So let's do some white. Um, I just use, you know what I use, my good old makeup sponges that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use real white paint, not, uh, oh, this is light ivory, hold on. I could use like a light, no, I'm going to use white. Yeah, I want to use white. I was going to say like a super light pink or some of the, like that really light. I should use the orange. Look, I see some stamping back there. Like I must have stamped on it when I um, was cleaning off a stamp or something. Or a, um. So I'm just going to try and hit it. Yes over the design so I want it to be on top of the houses and the sun as well. So let me go this way. Lovely and then a few over here. can't go wrong with circles. I freaking love them. All right. I think I want to put some subtle letters on here, but let's see. What would be subtle? Ugh. That's not me. That's not my middle name. Well, I have white on the sponge. Maybe if I added some blue to this, it would come out a little less. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm changing the color a little. I'm making it a little lighter. And I'm just going to go kind of where the blue is and see how that works. Good. I like it. So what this does is it kind of brings the piece together. It makes it... Uh, all part of the same design. It doesn't look like it just uh, like I put stuff on top of something else or you know that background is now part of this piece too because it was kinda um, random just I don't even remember how I made it but now it's 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 all coming together. Alright I don't want to get crazy. <sighs> Let me think. Um, I want like a little something else. I think definitely I have a dark pink, I think. Let me see if this is, I think I have a dark pink stays on. I think I want to do my script, actually hearts. I got to go hearts, right? I love hearts. So let's do some pink hearts in the pink areas. So on the roof. I get a little crazy. It's hard for me to stop. Um, 
and that's pretty dark. See, that's what happens. I get, I am not a delicate flower. <sighs> Let's see. Um, I think we're blended in pretty good. Pretty darn good. So I will do black, a little bit of black. How about blue? I'll do dark blue. Um, because I am going to use a black pen to outline everything, but I'm going to use my script stamp with some dark blue. Uh, stays on. So let's just go over the other blue areas. Blue, blue, blue. Alright. I love it. I'm good. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to now, I think I'm going to outline. I think that'll make it all come together. Let me just give it a hit with my heat gun. I was going to do black. You know what? I'll just draw. All of these inks and uh, paints and everything that I've used is all permanent. So and so is this pen. This is my Uniball Vision pen. Um, it's all permanent, so it shouldn't uh, run or. And because I put um, my podge down, you can fix your mistakes until it permanently sets up. So and this is just sketchy. Don't worry about it if it's perfect at all. I put the houses on all the way to the bottom of the paper. Is my head in the shot? No. But um, that way I didn't have to worry about having any type of ground. And I'm not exactly over my um, pencil lines either. So, it is definitely not perfect. Like on the houses over here, I put this roof on first, so the roof kind of went under this house, and then this roof went over that house. So it wouldn't be like that in real life at all. But this is just play. Like, see how I just made that go on top of, uh, because there's Mod Podge, you can get it off if you're quick, and then it'll set up after, if, after it dries. Is it coming together? Did we do it? I think we did. And you can add so much more, but yeah, look at it. It's popping. That is so cute. What else did I want to do? Um. <laughs> words. I never leave room for words. But I think I just saved that page. That page is so cute right now, right? So all I did was by looking at the colors that I'd already used on the page, I just played them into it. I think I'm going to call it done. And I'm going to move on to another one. I love it. It's super cute. I love houses, so I might come back and do a similar one on the other page, in the, again, in the style of Kate Crane. Alright, but that's it for now, you guys. Thanks for watching.